So right now we're going to head to a spot to wake us up. So this is one of the spots you can get like pressed coffee. And pressed coffee is better because it's more natural or something like that. Oh, the beer is not working right now. <laughs> so this is the place to come and get pressed coffee. So we're going to order some. The machine. Oh, it's working. So when you're in Bosnia, come visit this shop. Okay. And it's roasting. You see it. Inside the mm. Oh, here we go. We got the beer going. It's crazy. She was like, she can't sell it. She can only make it. Yeah, only the beans and the first. That's like a rule. Yeah, I think. So. Yeah, it's yeah. smarter because it makes it. It makes more business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like split, yeah So right now he's making us the, um, the, the Bosnian coffee. He's gonna press it and put it in these like um, little cast iron pots. I have one of these at home as well, but mine's just Turkish. But same thing, Ottoman Empire. So with the press one, you get more flavor as opposed to it being like roasted. Yeah, and then drink it. You have still the sugar in your mouth? No, it's gone. It melts. All right, so in Bosnia, you're supposed to keep this in, sugar in, in cube your in your mouth to oh. break to to cut the cup the taste of the coffee, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to do this. This is really bad for your teeth. But I'm gonna try. It's hard to want to do it, but you do it anyway. It's yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's weird. It's like eating candy. You're not eating candy. Okay, eat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not eating candy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah. It does work though. It, it tastes like those, those candies you used to eat as a kid, the, the, ones, the, the white steak that you would dip, dip in the sugar. Mm. Right now, we're at one of the spots that make. Uh, Bakalava, which is a traditional Bosnian dessert, which is similar to like the Turkish ones, but supposed to be better because they use very local ingredients. So we're gonna give it a try. Even though my sweet tooth is on high, highly sensitive right now because of that sugar cube I just had. And I'm like buzzing. But we're gonna go in here, see what it's about. It's an old grandma that was making it for many, many years. He said, I think since the 60s. And it's a family run business. So her grandson's working there, her son's working there. So we're gonna go in there, give it a try, see how it is. And I'm gonna let you know. Yo, I just left my camera in the last spot. I had to run back. No, that's good. The boys are ordering. It is. It is. What is everyone getting? Dead one and dead one. Okay, okay. Do you want to get one of the Hazel ones, please? I had these all over Muslim world. I'm gonna try it here. It's supposed to be. Let me see. Let me see. Dutchie, Dutchie has it. <laughs> there we go. Cool, <laughs> so these are all made locally sourced handmade by a local family so if you're here come into the old town and the turkish part and visit bakalava support them support the local economy and support the people 
So I would say that I feel a lot more welcome in Bosnia than I did in Croatia. In Croatia, it was a lot of racism. Um, some of it was overt, some of it was a microaggression. Most of it was overt. Even had some skinheads walk up to us at dinner, me and my cousin, and chat shit. But in Bosnia, they're, they're more, way more welcoming, nicer locals, um, different cultures. So right now we're gonna walk up there and we're passing like these really um, old made sh copper shops and places where they're doing this craftsmanship. That's been going on for years. Hey bro. Can I have a look? Hey, hey why not? <laughs> you can't have two, man. <laughs> Are you from here? Yeah, I am. <laughs> where are you from? Jamaica. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is like very old school style and it's, it's unique to see. So if you're in Boston, you come and check these people out and support them. Thank you, man. Hey, man. Thank you. <laughs> well, here, man. I'm traveling, so. Merchants, they want you to come to a place where food is free and where accommodation is free. And that's how Scenario became like main group on the on the on the sightseeing, on the of the train at that time. But as they were coming now we're doing the hike to see this city view. You sure? No idea. Where's the arrows? We need the map. I'm pretty sure it's this way. It's straight. That's where that castle is. Like, you can see it. Yeah, let's go. So it's this way. <laughs> no, I think it's this way. We're going to go up. Which way is it? To go up. How do we go up? This way. Thank you. <laughs> So we're gonna hike up. Lawrence went the other way thinking it's that way, but I knew it was this way. <laughs> I'm out of breath, that means I'm out of shape, right? But to not get the, knock these beers out that we just had and these sweets. Oh, they have a coffee to go. It's definitely this way. Yeah, it's right here. So Lawrence went the other way. <laughs> so we're gonna laugh at him when he gets back. So 25 minutes in, more like 15, 20, and we're at the top. The sun is like glaring. But that's a nice view of the city and the mountains. There's a lot of people up here drinking water. So we found him now, he's here. <laughs> Also, Macedonia, I think they had also like Turkish uh, influence, uh, yeah. influence, but I think you don't find it there neither. Yeah, because the <laughs> 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 they conquered them. Really Actually, like the Turks were fine. Uh, Alright, now we're hiking to the White Fortress, which is another high point in the city. Right now we're walking through these uh, really old neighborhoods, which are in like Muslim Ottoman style 
and it's very unique and very well preserved. They have like fruit trees everywhere, apple, pear, grapes, and everything, and then the people are very nice. Like, I'm really surprised about for the Balkans because <clears throat> Balkans, just my experience in the Balkans, people have been very cold, especially towards me. And the people here are like really nice. Oh, they got pigeons or doves, right? Oh shit. Yeah, it's been a Y'all can hear me breathing hard as I walk in out of uphill. It's not as bad as it usually is, if I'm being quite honest. Today was one of the first days I did like a full day of activities from 9 a.m. And we're gonna count all the way down. Haven't done this in a while, but I love it. You get these little pockets. I don't know if you can see it that much on the, on the gimbal, but you get these little pockets of scenery that are quite beautiful and nice and refreshing in a sense. And just to be clear, it's very cold. <laughs> I want to say in, in Fahrenheit, it's cold for me. Um, so I think it's at least like 30s or 40s. It's colder this morning. Obviously, when the sun drops, it's going to get cold again. I have four layers on. And it's cold for Lawrence as well because he's from Australia. But Switzerland has on thongs and thongs meaning slippers <laughs> and shorts. <laughs> All the Europeans are scared to eat organic fruit from a tree. They go in the store and pay high prices for it, and it was like, oh no, it's not gonna be good, it's sour. This apple is the sweetest apple I've had in a long time, and it's small and organic. You know, when you're from an island, we pick fruit. They're scared to get it. I want a wax version of this that, that, <laughs> that's been in the freezer for seven months. <laughs> Free apples. I'll take it any day. Oh man, this place is just beautiful. We're in the mountains right now and the weather's nice. Not too cold, not too warm. So right now we're at a spot. We don't know what it is. It's like a fortress, but it's been bombed and there's bullet holes in it. And like Lauren said, fire damage. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Yugoslavia can be what that was like.